I am eternal. I am ephemeral. I am the earth. Tuesday, September 17, 2013. Musings on recent winner of Miss America title, The Indian American Things. Posted by Silent Sculptor at 7.59 p.m. Davilari shrugged off the negative backlash in a press conference following the competition. I have to rise above that, she said. I always viewed myself as first and foremost American. These were the words of Nina Davilari, the girl who was crowned Miss America this year and is being touted as the first, Indian, American to be ever crowned in the history of Miss America. I was persuaded to write a note on this because I could see the Indian community or many Indians in US posting that news on their walls and sharing it as if it is an achievement for them. Frankly speaking, I hate to do that so as I believe that many, Indian Americans, typically the ones who have settled here in US as NRIs, are not really Indians in many many ways. They as Nina Davila reports, are, first and foremost American, and indeed that flows from their Americanized accent and so many other things they participate in. These category of people use their so-called Indianism which they denote by Indian classical dance such as Bharatanatyam, etc., or Bollywood dance or learning piano or having memories of India when they were child. Typically these things are what are stated in Wikipedia when one searches Nina. And there goes her blatant remark at racist comments when she is called by racist terms by some followers on Twitter as being Arabic or Muslim, she is chintzy enough to repartee, I view myself as first and foremost American. I perceive that people like her use the Indian Bollywood dance or classical music as crutches and props to bolster their diversity in an American culture, but then after the purpose is served, they are the first to shrug away Indianism aside and blurt out clarifying that they are Americans first and the Indianism mention is nowhere in sight. I would have been surprised if she would have answered back something along the lines of, I have to rise above that. I always viewed myself as an Indian first who mingled into American culture. But sadly, a reply like this would not come of her, and this in particular is what made me feel sorry at the state of affairs of these few, Indian Americans. As mentioned in the articles, she clearly would not even be getting in finals if she were to run for a beauty pageant in India itself, as she typically does not even reflect the high standards of beauty which Indian culture bestows of, and I am not mentioning about the skin color here, but still, many Indian beauties who have been crowned may have a dusky or better complexion, but more so carry the real Indian woman persona of compassion and grace and elegance. They have done social work in the past or worked for society or been part of a social cause actively. More so, the moment they have been crowned the winner in Indian beauty pageant, Miss India, Miss World, etc., one cannot miss the graceful yet real smile laden with tears on their face. I found the smile and expressions of Miss Nina so fake and rather repulsive when she first hears that she indeed is the winner. All in all, I want to stress that I still can never figure out why the Indians in America who have not become a permanent citizen yet, seem to gloat over the fact that she is the first Indian American to achieve an honorable title in America. It pains my heart to see that most of the Indian Americans seem to use Indian culture as a prop to exhibit their diversity, for example not only to win talent rounds in beauty pageant, but also to get scholarships in US universities by mentioning the Indian things in their essays or diversity essays and then later when they settle down in America, the first place where Indian nest eyes is on their tongues, not to mention the Americanized accent which they pick up so soon, jettisoning the real and humble Indian accent. It is high time the real Indians acknowledge that and understand what indeed is true beauty. It is something which radiates in words and actions and in the eyes and grace. Indianness is much much more than just classical dance or Bollywood, it is a culture of spirit, of the soul, something which transcends any superficiality of materialism, and connects deeper to all, rich or poor.